Good people of Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons, we're gonna now learn the tune Tam Lin. It's a Celtic reel. I think you're gonna really like it. Real e like it. Sorry, jokes aren't gonna get any better, but hopefully you'll like the, the tune anyway. Here we go. You're gonna play the whole thing fast or kind of normal speed, and then break it down for you very slowly, part by part, note by note. So it's a fairly unembellished version. I'm going to also do a follow-up lesson that will be on fiddlehead.com, which is uh, adding variation to it, how to add little variations to it. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to play the first quarter of the A part. So it's going to start on the G string. I'm just going to start right with the pickup and open G to G1. Now, for the, there's, a, there's a bowing pattern that's going to really make this tune easier for you. So I'm just going to start by learning that. I'm going to start up bow, open one on G. And we're basically going between D and G strings. D to G1. And now from now on it's short notes or eighth notes. Um, well at least in this first little bit. Um, a G1 is a quarter note or a long note. Now D low to to G1. Back to open D to G1. So here's this first bit. Part. If you get the bowing right on this and the groove right, you really much have the feel for the whole A part. So what I want to do now is slowly loop on this one little part. It's all separate notes except for this slurred open G to one. The open G is the pickup. And so on. Like Earl Scruggs, the great banjo player, says, repeat a thousand times. If you repeat a thousand, this a thousand times, you'll pretty much have it and you'll be able to do things like it in other tunes. Um, so, anyhow, so the next bit, we're still on the first quarter, the next bit is very similar, um, but we're going to go G low to, and then D, it's got a similar pattern from here, alternating D to G string. Alright, so, starting up bow, then open D, G low to D. D low to, and back to, op sorry, open D low to on G. So once again, G low to, and then open D, then G low to, D low to, 
G low to, D low to. As much as possible, try to hold fingers down. So. So there I'm holding low two down as I go back and forth. Alright, you can do it without holding it down, but it's recommended that you hold it down. Alright, so that's the entire first quarter. Um, I'm going to put those two bits to together and play it for you again. Starting with the pickup. Notice that that bowing, that slur 2 thing ha is preserved at the beginning of the second bit, going from G1 to G low 2. Alright, by the way, tabs for this lesson on fiddlehead.com. They are color coded so you can see repeating patterns, so go check it out. Um, if you're viewing this lesson um, uh, within a week of its release on YouTube, then you can see it for free, you can access it for free on fiddlehead.com with a trial membership. Otherwise, um, anyway, well, let's forge ahead to the second quarter, similar feel. I'm just going to play the entire second quarter very slowly. <laughs> So the first bit of this is the same thing we've kind of been doing already, going by kind of a pattern that goes from G to D. And it starts with another, it starts with a long note or a quarter note on G3, and D1 to G3, D3 to G3, D1 to G3. Here's that again with more flow. Okay. Um, and then that's followed by D low 2. I'm just going to play the next bit. It's D low 2, 1, open, G3, open D, G3, 1, open. So the whole second quarter slowly. By the way, I forgot to say what the scale is for this tune. Um, you want to warm up with F major or D minor. Both of them would be useful, okay? So, um, F major. Alright, great. Let's move on. The third quarter of this A part is the same as the first. Let's review it. Fourth is similar, um, but let's break it down note by note. The fourth is similar to the second, but here we go. So the first bit of the fourth is the same as the first bit of the second. And it ends with D low two one open G three. And then open D. So it just does it has a it doesn't have the last that the second quarter does. G3 won't open. Here's the whole fourth quarter again. Okay, cool. So now um, why don't you take a moment, pause the video, and practice each part a lot. Maybe you don't have time to do a thousand times right now, but practice it a bit and then we'll recap the and play the entire A part. Okay, cool. Glad you did that. And now I'm just going to slowly play the A part. Feel free to play along or just listen. Listening is practice too. Um, actually, let's, let's cut to a play along track for you to play along with. One, two, three.
very, very cool. Now we're going to do the B part. Um, I'm just going to start with the first quarter. So, there's, um, there's some pickup notes. I'm going to start a little bit after the pickup notes because I think it makes more teaching sense. Um, so we're going to start A3. So 3-3 three, three, open on A. And then on D string, low 2 open, low 2. So, so far we have. Now add an open A. Putting that together, and so to make the first quarter, we do this twice in a row. But why don't we do this? Why don't we loop it one more? Loop this part because it is repeated so much. It's really going to be a high return on your investment, if you will. If we <laughs> loop on it, sorry. Um, here we go. So just loop on it, I don't know, four times. Okay, so now we'll put together the entire first quarter with the pickups. We're gonna start D low to Open A, D low to. And actually, that's come, the note before that is sort of, I've sort of included in the fourth quarter of the A, but it's open D. I'm just going to play it anyway because it makes a little bit more musical sense to teach it. So we have open low to on D, open low to on A. And then we do this phrase twice. There you go, that's the entire first quarter. And if you take away the pickups, it's the third quarter. So the entire third quarter. Same thing. All right, cool. Let's do, we're almost done. Let's do the second quarter of the B part. with flow. A low two to D three twice. Long, short, short. And same rhythm but D one to low three twice. Putting that together. Long, short, short. That's a good piece to work on too. Well, let's forge ahead. After that, we do a, the, the first little bit again. All right, so, so far we have. Got it, all right. And then we end the second quarter with low on A, low two, three, open E, low two on A. Frere Jaca. Frere Jaca. On a side note, I love if I hear like a little bit of a, another melody contained within a melody, I think it's fun to sing it and it helps you get it immediately. So now let's put together the entire second quarter. Good, the third quarter we did because it's the first quarter. Here's the whole fourth quarter broken down for you. With more flow. Very cool. 
Um, now let's just cut to a play along track for the entire B part. Play along. If you think you got it, you may need to pause and practice the parts or just listen. That's practice too. One, two, three. Okay, well, thanks for watching. This is such a cool tune, and I want to add that the band I play with, Diego's Umbrella, a gypsy rock band, for lack of a better term. I mean, it's a lot of kinds of music. But anyway, we um, play, uh, we wrote a song that's based off this melody called uh, Never Take Us Down. I'm gonna put a link to um, a, a music video in the YouTube description, as well as to a live acoustic aver version we did of the same tune that you might enjoy. Okay, so anyway, thanks for taking part in Fiddlehead, and we'll see you around, okay? Thank you. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.